Good morning, everyone. I'm so excited to be able to bring you your Bible lesson. So for the next six weeks, I'll do a new one each week. And each week, it's going to have four parts, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is a prayer. We're going to learn about types of prayer. The second thing we're going to do is something called Bible truths. And I'll explain what those are in a little bit. Then I'll bring you your lesson. And the last thing I'll do is I'll either show you or tell you an activity that you can do at home, okay? So today, what we're going to start with with our prayer is learning about one of the types of prayer. So on here you can see there are four pictures. So we're going to talk about ultimately four different types. But today we're just going to talk about one. And that type is an I love you prayer. It has a special word called adoration. That's just a fancy way to say that we adore God or we love him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray an example of an I love you prayer to God. Remember, prayer is just talking to God, right? It doesn't have to be fancy or anything. So you can pray with me or you can pray your own prayer at home, okay? Dear God, we just want to say that we love you so much. We love everything that you have given us, this whole earth and everything in it, Lord. Help us to love you. It's your name we pray. Amen. So you just tell God that you love him and the things that you love him for. That is an I love you or adoration prayer. All right. So our next part is called Bible truths. And throughout this whole six weeks, there are four Bible truths that we're going to learn. All right. And those look like I ask you a question and you can tell me the right answer. So the first Bible truth question that we're going to do is, what is the most important book ever written? So I want you to think in your brain, what would be the most important book ever written? All right. The answer is the Bible. All right. Some Bibles look like this. Some people have the Bibles on their phones. It can look different ways on the outside, but the Bible is God's words, which is actually our next question. What is the Bible? In the Bible is God's words to us. All right, so that's what's in the Bible. Our third Bible truth question is, all of the words in the Bible are what? And they're either you're either going to say that they're made up, they're not real, or that they're true. What do you think? All of the words in the Bible are? And the answer is true. They're from God. We know that they're true. And our last Bible truth question is, are there any mistakes in the Bible? Is there anything in here that's wrong that we shouldn't follow? And the answer is no. There are no mistakes in the Bible because God can't lie, right? So that is our Bible truth section. So each week we'll ask the same four questions and you'll get really good at telling me the answers. All right, so we're going to go on to the Bible story part of our lesson this week. So we are learning all about the Bible this week. And the Bible is God's word. And it's a very, very special book. It's his words to us and to everyone else, okay? And there are some words we're going to learn that help us understand the Bible a little better. And the first word is pure, all right? The word is pure. Do you know what pure means? What do you think? So pure means that something is clean and there is nothing bad or wrong in it. So I've got a couple jars here that are going to kind of help us understand this. So if you look at my jar of water right here, do you think this is pure and clean? Do you see anything wrong with it? It is pure and clean, all right? There's not any dirt in it or anything, so it is pure, all right? This water is pure. There's nothing wrong with it, and it's perfect. And the Bible says that God's words to us are like that. They're pure and perfect, all right? Now, what about this jar of water? See anything wrong with this jar? Is it pure? No, it's not pure, right? There's a problem with the water. It's not pure and it's not perfect. We can't drink it. We can't wash our hands with it. It's yucky. Right. So we're going to talk a little bit more about our cleaning jar. And what we want to know about our cleaning jar is that God's word, the Bible, is like this cleaning jar. Okay, It's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. And we should trust God's word because it's pure, Right? because there's nothing wrong with it. And it can change us and help us obey and love God. So I want you to say this with me. Are you ready? God's word is pure and perfect. That's what we're learning today. God's word is pure and perfect. So what we're going to do is I'm going to read you a verse from the Bible. And then we have this cool little flip chart here that we've had our prayers on. We've got another picture in it that's going to help us understand it more. Okay. So we are going to read from Psalm 1910. And what it says, and it's talking about God's word, it says that they are more precious than gold than much pure gold, and they are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb, right? So that was from God's word, the Bible, which is pure and perfect. So now we're going to look at our flip chart. All right. So if you were listening to the verse, it said God's word is more precious than gold. All right. So here's some gold coins right here, and here's some gold jewelry. It's more precious than gold. 
Gold is really expensive. It can buy you lots of nice things and it's pretty to look at, but God's word is better than that. And it said that it's sweeter than honey, right? Honey tastes good, but God's word is better than that. We have some other pictures on here too that we might like, but we know that God's word is better than. So what is this? This is a cupcake, right? And they're really, really tasty, but God's word is better than a cupcake. Oh, this is ice cream and it's got chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. That's really tasty and that's great, but God's word is better than that. It's perfect because God cannot make mistakes. So that is awesome to know. I love God's word because it is the only book in the world that is pure and perfect. It's better than gold or honey or anything that we can think of, and it can change us, right? It's a very, very special book. When I say God's word, what do I mean? Do you remember? What's God's word? Remember, I'm talking about the most important book ever written, which is the Bible. The Bible is perfect, and it can change us, right? And it can help us to love and obey God, which is awesome. All right, so that was our Bible lesson for today. So try to remember those things, and we'll review them again next week. So your last thing that we said we were going to do was I was going to talk about an activity that you can do at home. So with mom and dad there to help you, if you wanted to, you could make your own pure jar, and we'll call this the yucky jar. All right, and you can use, I have jars, but you could use cups. You could use whatever you have that can hold water. And so what you would do is you would make a clean jar. It just has water in it. You don't add anything else because it's pure and perfect, right? And then in the next jar, you'd put water, but then you would add thing. You could add sand or dirt, or I actually put cocoa powder in this to make it look brown. But you could add in things that remind you that this is the yucky jar and this is the clean jar. And remember, clean jar is like the Bible, right? Pure and perfect. His words from God to us are pure and perfect, and we can trust them. All right, I will see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.